head to the hairdresser and I'm so nervous. I do not want to go, but we got it done. So I've now got my meal prep. I just made a chicken sanity with a spud light chips in the air fryer and a little side salad. I also found this at Coles. I don't usually shop at Coles, but one of my clients told me to try these chicken schnitzels. They're the Lilydale free range something something or other, and she swears by them. So I made my way to Coles today so I could try it. Um, and yeah, I saw this special nugget sauce from Coles and I love my nuggies so I'm gonna taste test this on camera because I'm a little bit skeptical it doesn't smell a hundred percent like nugget sauce but we will see the Coles burger sauce though like the Big Mac sauce is really good so I would recommend that if you were looking for a new one I'm gonna taste it with the chip because the chicken I haven't tried before hmm I wouldn't say it tastes like sweet and sour sauce but it is it does kind of have that like mustardy type flavor i don't know nothing beats macca's sweet and sour though but it's not bad maybe i need a second opinion do you want to try it here you go <laughs> what would you rate its closeness to macca's nugget sauce out of 10 oh, it's not even close but it, it tastes like do you know what it tastes like what it tastes like pickles yeah, it's like mustardy. But like, do you like it? Yeah, it's good. It doesn't taste like... Yeah, it doesn't taste like it's not, Macca's. It's not sweet and sour sauce. No. Well, it doesn't say that. It's a special nugget sauce. Yeah. Like, I, I still like it though. Good calories too. 45 calories per serve, which is really not bad for a sauce, so... Just on a little lunchtime beach walk now. I finished my lunch and I actually think the nugget sauce is a solid 7 out of 10. Like, it was really good after a few bites. Look at that palm tree so pretty it's the most beautiful day in melbourne not a, literally not a cloud in the sky and considering melbourne's always freezing raining cold cloudy we have to utilize the sunny day so that's what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> So it is now dinner time. We're home from the gym and I didn't actually film really anything at the gym. It was our first session back since lockdown probably three weeks ago. I want to say three, maybe even four weeks. So we just wanted to get like a good session in. I will say I was not at all motivated. Like during the day I wanted to go, but come 7 p.m. I was like, I do not want to go. But we got it done and it was a good little leg session. Our gym actually got so many new pieces of equipment too like those adductor machines there was like a glute bridge machine which I would really benefit from because I can't actually use a barbell when doing glute bridges because of my uneven pelvis um, so I really like the idea of the machines and <laughs> Oreo <laughs> um, and I also got ankle straps so I was able to do the like donkey what are they called the glute kickbacks on the cable machines <laughs> Baba why are you so suki so yes, it was a pretty good session. My calves already hurt, so I think I might have to foam roll them this afternoon. This afternoon, it's like 8.30 p.m. What is wrong with me? But they already hurt. So anyway, now we are cooking dinner. So we just have some spud light boiling. We've got some chicken, and then we've also got some veg in the Mickey Wave. I'm 
I'm literally just here in the middle of editing a new vlog and I am dying. It is the vlog of when we went away with our friends and just like, I mean, you'll obviously see if you watch the vlog, but I just can't with this kid. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It pretty much just sums up the whole weekend with those two it's too funny but i had a few client calls this morning i also had some face-to-face -face pt sessions so i'm just kind of being a little bit busy but nothing i can really vlog so i feel like it's been a little bit boring so far hopefully the rest of the week has some fun in it um but yeah i've literally just been all of yesterday i literally just did computer work so again really nothing to vlog i'm so sorry my life is honestly Quite boring. <laughs> and we're, we're further away from the beach than we thought. All beach. James, are you drunk? He's fucking lying. <laughs> 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 we got the best room. It's right near the oh, beach. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm currently living my best life in my dressing gown, making tacos for dinner, music playing. It's the best. And I literally haven't filmed anything today because all I've done is train clients or have client calls. Um. But now we're making tacos, so life is great. I'm just browning up the mince now, and now I'm about to add the best part, the seasoning. Chuck that on there, we've grated up some carrot, we'll get some lettuce and some cheese. <laughs> Look at that little belly. Aww. Maybe he doesn't hate it after all. Look at that. Just so cute. We've both just wasted a good two hours laying separately. Like I've been in bed on TikTok and Andy's been on the couch watching his TikTok. That is, that is married life for you. on here yet today because I've kind of just been doing some household things like you've probably seen I went for a walk I did the vacuuming the dishes um, what else have I been doing I've been working just like at my laptop today too but I haven't had any PT clients or anything on Thursdays I'm usually just at home doing like admin or household things so that's been really good um, I also filmed a TikTok I filmed a reel so just like random kind of stuff but now I need to put away my clothes from the weekend when we went away. It is Thursday and I still have not put them away. I'm actually like the worst adult ever, honestly. Um, but I'm going to put them away now and watch the last episode of The Blacklist. And I am not emotionally ready for this. Like I'm literally already tearing up because I know, wow, I know what's going to happen. Like I've already seen the spoilers and I'm just, I'm not emotionally ready. Please let me know below. I'm actually turning bright red. Please let me know below if you guys watch the blacklist because it is the season finale and I'm just, I can't deal with it. So I'm going to watch this, fold up my clothes, probably cry my eyes out <laughs> and then we're going to head to the gym um, later this afternoon. talked about this yet but at the moment I am about to go get my hair cut this is how long it is almost to my belly button and I've never ever ever really had short hair like I feel like since I was like five years old I've always kind of had like at least kind of medium length to long hair 
but today I feel like I'm gonna chop maybe like this much off so quite quite a lot the ends are looking so bad because of the lockdown so I haven't been I think my hair appointment got cancelled twice in the last few months so yeah I'm very excited to just like get it done get a little freshen up but I'm really nervous to get it cut short because I don't know I feel like long hair is like my personality I know that sounds so dramatic but I've pretty much always had long hair and it's like the number one compliment I ever received like I've never received any other compliments other than people saying they love my hair so I just I just grow it out and <laughs> but it is really hard to manage and I always have to wear it in like a low bun because it's just it's really thick and really long um, and this is me like somewhat straightening it usually it's like way frizzier and just like wavy and uncontrollable so yeah I just want to give short hair a go I'm super super nervous but they just call me saying that I could come in earlier so I'm gonna hop in the car now head to the hairdresser and I'm so nervous. Voila, my new hair. I'm so, so happy with it. It's a little bit shorter than what I was expecting, but also it is curled right now. So I guess that would make it a tiny bit shorter, but I love, I'm still getting used to it. Like just running my hands through my hair, but I am going to go show Andy now. And now I also have to go train clients. So I can't do that much of an update, but I wanted to show you guys before the sun went down because yeah, it's always nicer to see fresh hair when the light is up. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think? Looks good. You happy? Yeah. I think I'm kind of in shock still. Nah, it suits you. Thanks. I thought you were gonna get it done black though. Uh-huh. What do you think? It's so weird. No, it looks cool. I don't know. I like. I think I like it. Did they like thin it out or layer it out? Yeah, a little bit. Thing? So short! So it is now the next day. It is Saturday. We're just out on a little walk. We actually needed to go to the shops because we ran out of coffee and like... I can't live without my coffee. So we're walking first and then we're gonna head to the shops afterwards i also really want to go to kmart because i want to buy like scrunchies and hair clips things that i could never wear with long hair because it just is impossible especially with the thickness so i'm excited to go buy some like hair accessories other than that we have no plans it's like 2 p.m and we've been sitting on the couch wondering what are we gonna do all day we'll see what we get up to tonight maybe maybe we'll have like a drink or we might go out for dinner honestly the world is our oyster are you lying says I've got red paint on my back. Yeah, it's wet paint. Go on, prove it. I just watched that footage back and you are, <laughs> you sir, are inappropriate. <laughs> All the dad jokes. Just joshing. I'm just joshing. I, I feel like that's such an Australian thing to say. Like, it means just joking, just joshing. Yeah, but why Josh? I don't know, ask Josh. But I'm gonna say an hour of trying to look for a movie. We finally found something to watch. If you guys have any movie or TV show recommendations, please leave them below because we've run out of TV shows to watch and we also suck at finding movies because we have completely different tastes. We've got a couple little snacks. So we've got Maltesers, some Cobb's popcorn, and then some lollies. I'm really like not the mood for this movie, but I also feel like it took so long to start. Can we watch like um, something else? Scary movie. No. One. No. Why not? You're funny, but you're laughing because you're like kind of. I don't want to watch a scary movie. No, it's not scary. Right. Do we still have them or did you chuck them out? Kept them. View. I don't know where the lighting is, but we are just on our way to our little date night. We kind of match actually, which is pretty cute because we never usually match. Usually we're like complete opposites. But I often get questions on Instagram when I do like the Q&A boxes. And so many people always ask, like at least one person will ask, how do you guys keep your relationship so healthy and happy after nine years together? And literally date nights is key um but yeah we like to go on date nights probably like once a fortnight once a month maybe <laughs> anyway we're like 
procrastinating now but we're dressed we've had one cheeky beverage before we go and now we're just gonna head off to dinner i won't take my camera and i'll probably also end the vlog here because i feel like i have so much footage already but if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs i can't even speak if you guys like the video please give it a big thumbs up please don't forget to hit subscribe below and i will see you in my next video bye